Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 2019, that's 2019, love reading for you today. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all your support, whether you are new or old to this channel. I love starting each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So thank you all so much for being here. I absolutely adore reading for you guys. And if you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information is going to be pinned to the top of the comment box below. Meaning, it is going to be the very first comment in the comment box below. You can also find the cards that I use there and also how to slow down YouTube videos so that you can listen at a speed that is more comfortable for you. And I want to apologize for my voice. I'm getting over the flu, so do bear with me. All right, so let's see now, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what June 2019 has in store for you for love. Scorpio, June 2019, 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 love. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Scorpio, June 2019, love. Scorpio, June 2019, love. Okay, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, we have the Five of Pentacles. This could be feeling, not could be, this is you feeling kind of all by yourself at times, as if you're walking this road alone, and that's at the heart of things. But I want you to know that there's going to be somebody here to walk with you, or there is somebody that you can rely upon. And even if this is just your angels, this is really saying that somebody powerful is right there with you, guiding you forward, and you have divinity having your back. Then you have the three of wands. Your ships are coming in, and there's something that's going to be taking you by surprise, Scorpio. There's something that you're going to be seeing, understanding, that's going to be coming into your life that is really going to be quite surprising for you. Everything is changing. I love that. Everything is changing. You, you feel here at the heart, kind of like you're in this journey all by yourself, and then everything changes. You do a 180. And so for the month of June, you might feel a bit like you're on a roller coaster ride, like you're having blessings come in, but you're really trying to figure out how to handle everything. You're, you know, sending out intentions into the universe. You're sending out, you know, what it is that you truly desire. It can be you're, you're dating a lot if you're looking for a romantic relationship. If you're in a romantic relationship, things are just taking you by surprise. There are some things that are coming forward here, and you're really looking at things differently, and everything is changing. Everything is moving you forward. Then you have the Strength card. This is a Leo. This is a time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd, but this is, for those of you looking for love, it's going to be with somebody you hadn't expected it to be with. It really is. It's going to be with somebody that's kind of left field, that you didn't expect, and this person just kind of sweeps you off your feet. Everything is changing here too, and you're finding that your greatest allies aren't the people that you would normally have thought they were, okay? So keep your mind open here, definitely. At your root is a Libra right here, so you're getting justice. A Libra time frame is September 23rd to October 22nd. You're cutting through doubts and fears. You're moving forward. You're finding balance in what it is that you want, and you're taking... The weight of the world that you have on your shoulders, Scorpio, and you're putting it down. It's finding somebody who gets you. It's finding somebody who hears you, who listens, who understands. And they're not going to see the real you if you have kind of the weight of the world on your shoulders. If you're trying to be everything for everybody else, this is saying here that a lot of you, Scorpios, try to be everything for everybody else. And they might not even know it. But it's keeping you from really connecting with what it is that you truly want. And there you are right here, coming through as a queen. The Queen of Cups. You are a water sign. You're represented by the Cups in the Minor Arcana. You're represented by the Death card in the Major Arcana. You're embracing true and just pure love here. You're also going through a healing as you let go of the past, as you let go of other people's expectations, other people's wants and desires. You're finding your truth. You're taking that leap of faith. 
You're going after what it is that you truly want, what it is that you truly desire. Here, you feel out in the cold because something, someone, has betrayed you. All right? That's how I read the Three of Cups. It's always how I've read the Three of Cups. But you're having a divine change coming in. So for you guys, Scorpio, there's something that's changing you forward. Three is a divine number for me. So it is saying here that there is a, a spark of creativity. There's a spark of just kind of inspiration that's going to be around you for the month of June. And you feel out in the cold because the people that you once thought you could trust, they're not. They're not the people that you thought you could trust. So this could be a Lib this could be a Leo energy right here. All right, for some of you, yeah, it could also be a Libra energy, but I'm really seeing it more towards a Leo. But this is very much saying that you're not walking it alone anymore, and everything is changing. You're you're having kind of like a change of seasons within your soul. I know that sounds funny, but it's almost as if everything is changing. Everything you're finding a balance. You're connecting more deeply with someone. There's someone that's going to be around you that you can absolutely trust. And this is going to be someone who tries to talk you out of it here. Okay, so you're going to have somebody who's really close to you in your life. Or it can be that this person just doesn't ha you just don't see them as having any reason to lie to you. Okay, they, you just don't think that's part of their character. But this person here isn't going to be telling you the truth because they don't want you to have the happiness that you're going to be having which is really quite rotten of them. I mean, it's not, it's not right. Because they see you having endless prosperity. They just see you being a bit off balance, Scorpio. And they see you having that connection. Okay, because Fox mate for life. They see you having that connection with somebody. And they don't want you to have it. So just be wary of this person. Because I do see this Leo here is a very important person for this month. Okay? It can be somebody who has a Leo tendency towards them because this Leo here is actually going to be your greatest ally. I did say watch out for a Leo, but you may not just meet one Leo. Or this could be somebody who has Leo very prominently in their chart, all right, or who has those characteristics. It's just very bold, very, you know, kind of out there, all right, very brazen at times, okay, in a very good way, this person. But this person here who's negative, that I'm seeing is going to try and be a, uh, this person always tries to steal your thunder. That's it. This person always tries to steal your thunder. All right. Let's see what your fairy guidance has to say. Scorpio, June, love, 2019. Scorpio, June, love, 2019. Scorpio, this one right here. Future. Scorpio, June, love, 2019. Show me clearly. Strength. I love it. Scorpio, June, love, 2019. Scorpio. Again, strength. So you have strength, strength, and then strength. So there's something about June that makes you astoundingly strong, okay? Or that has you calling on your inner strength. It's saying, you know, don't let other people push you around. Be strong. Scorpio, June, love, 2019. Right? And that's also showing here with the strength said three times that Leo plays an important role in your life for June. And then you have transformation. So we're starting with strength right here. And this says, inner strength is the power within that pushes actions into all area of life. So you are really going for it. And this is going to, you know, make your life just bold and beautiful. But keep that inner strength. And do not let anybody else speak for you or, you know, manipulate your emotions in any way. And the color that's shining through here is blue. So that's healing and cleansing your throat chakra is going to be very important for you. Then we have transformation. This is self-transformation is the evolving process of life that brings higher consciousness. So know that you're transforming yourself. June is a transformative month for you. All right? And the color that's shining through here is purple. That's healing and cleansing the crown chakra. Then we have future. Direct your intentions and actions wisely, and your future will be fed with fulfillment. All right. So know that your actions for June are going to have an impact on your future as you, lead, as you move forward. And this is your fairy guidance right here. And then you have strength again. Strength is born from the will of the heart. Your heart is so important here for you. Scorpio, your heart is going to play a tremendous role in June because you're tired of feeling as if you walk by yourself. And I want you to know, even though you're tired, 
that you are never walking alone. Your angels are right there with you. The divine is guiding you. And I know some of you might be saying, you know, what good is that to me? You know, they're not here now. They are though. They really are. So when you think that kind of everything's like a dumpster fire at times, and you're just looking at it and being like, how the heck did I get here? How the heck is this, you know, where I ended up or how I'm moving forward? Know that they're right there with you, that they're helping, that they're guiding. Okay, things aren't as bad as they seem. And that's definitely what I'm getting from the five of pentacles right here at the middle. It's there's something that you're looking at where it seems really dire, but it's not. It's not. It's okay. You're okay. You're moving forward. <coughs> Excuse me. You're really going after what it is that you want. You're really embracing what it is that you desire. And there's no one and nothing that's going to hold you back. So keep on walking forward. Sometimes it feels like you've been on such a long journey that you're never going to come to the ending that you want. You are. Because your ending right here is one where you embrace love and everything changes and you move forward. You take that leap of faith and you leave this person behind. Okay? Because here with the Three of Wands, this can even be, you know, for those of you, this could even be a love, love triangle for some of you. And that's what I'm seeing right here for some. Okay? Right here. Because we have the Three of Wands and we have the Three of Cups and we have the Wheel of Fortune. It's like everything changes. And it can be that some of you are reeling from this because you didn't expect it. You didn't expect this to happen. But this is your, this is you guiding you, yourself forward. This is also something unexpected coming in that really changes the game. So if you're caught up in this love triangle, there's something that happens that really makes things clear to you. Because now you're moving forward and there's somebody here who really doesn't want the best they want. They want to see you fall. So I want you to be aware of that because as you're moving forward, as you're going after what it is that you want, it's your strength and it's this balance that you are finding within yourself that's really going to move you forward in love because you're going to be meeting somebody. You're going to be connecting with somebody who is just, it's just somebody you didn't expect. Okay. So even if you've been going through this really hard time in love, this is things turning around. All right, and it may take time, okay, because you're going to feel as if you're on this roller coaster ride and you're going to be like, Oh my gosh, you know, what's going on here? How am I moving forward? Where is it that I'm going? You know, because everything's doing a 180, everything's changing, but it's chaos before the change, okay? So you're on this roller coaster ride, it's saying, Hold on, it's saying, Hold on, because you are embracing this courage that's coming to you, okay, this strength that's coming to you in June, that's really going to move you forward. That's going to help you embrace what it is that you want. And it just doesn't have to mean for everybody who's listening, Scorpios, that there's a love triangle that's going to happen. No, that's a very specific message for a very specific few of you or a very specific person. So here, this is also you, you getting out there, you connecting with people, you meeting people. And it's with the Wheel of Fortune, because everything changes and you're on that roller coaster ride, you're going to kiss a lot of frogs or a lot of princesses. No? You're going, yeah, you're going to kiss a lot of frogs before you meet your prince or your princess or however they identify themselves. So here, with this Wheel of Fortune, things are changing and you're embracing that change. Okay? You're embracing that change and you're moving forward. Right? But just hold on. Just hold on here. Because the person that you're with isn't going to be exactly the person that you expected. And even if you are in a relationship, this is saying here that there's just kind of this great partnership that you're embracing. There's this way that you two play off each other. That's like a power couple almost, you know, kind of like, yeah, it's really being in tune with one another. So embrace that for June. Embrace that, really being in tune with one another. Embrace that moving forward. This is also July 23rd to August 22nd. It could be when things start calming down for you is in that Leo time frame. I know we're talking about June here, but know that if June is just really crazy, because for some of you, it is going to be, it's going to be one where you're just sitting there and you're looking at things and you're like, what the heck is going on? You know, because of this right here and because of all the change that's coming in and you feel like you're walking this alone, know that July is going to bring something a bit more stable, a bit more secure for you. And you're cutting through that doubt and fear. I mean, this is a Libra time frame, September 23rd to October 22nd. That can be when you find your balance because we have here justice and we have the two of pentacles. But this is also saying here that you look at what it is that you truly want as you're walking forward, as you're moving forward. And this is also saying with the five of pentacles, you know, 
you might, you might be going somewhere, traveling somewhere, doing something that you're not really keen on, okay? That you're not really excited about here, Scorpio, but it's actually going to be something really good for you. And it's going to take you out of this person's kind of reach, this person's hold here. But you're getting justice. So if you're focusing, because as I read, I, I do find the Three of Cups to be a negative card, all right? If you're focusing on the Three of Cups, you're, you are finding justice. I mean, this person here who's trying to sabotage you, you move forward in your strength. You have allies that you didn't expect. You have people surrounding you and supporting you, all right, here. And even if that's not the case, you know, even if you're saying, Dane, I, I'm the one who supports people. I'm the one who rallies around them. I don't have somebody like that. Or you don't have somebody like that. This is the angels coming around. So really pay attention to your angels. Really pay attention to that inner voice because it's going to help you with seeing this nonsense right here. Because this can get some of you guys really stuck for the month of June. And just be like, yeah, it's just like quicksand, okay? But you have the justice coming in. You're cutting through doubts and fears. You're finding your balance. You're really embracing what it is that you want and what it is that you know. All right? And yes, the time frame is important for some of you, but it's more important here that you are finding this balance, okay? And that you are severing ties with some people who are just wrong for you. This could be an ex. This could be, you know, a person who sets you up with people and they're just wrong. Or this could be, you know, this is just somebody who does not sit well with you at all. And just severing that time, that tie is going to be so important. So important. Cutting that tie, really embracing what it is that you want as you move forward in justice and in understanding. Okay? But you need to embrace your balance. And you also need to make time for you because even though your strength is transforming you and you're looking towards the future and you're astoundingly strong here, Scorpio, you also need to make sure that you're, you're making sure that you count and that you're checking in with yourself. Okay? The Ten of Wands, you're done carrying everybody else's nonsense. I mean, seriously here, you're putting down the burdens that you carry for yourself, but you're also putting down the burdens that you carry for everybody else. You're moving forward. There's an unlikely pairing here, and you're finding that balance. Somebody's going to try and mess it up. Don't let them. Even if you're in a really great relationship and you guys are like thick as thieves, there's somebody here who's going to try and be a fly in the ointment, who's going to try and cause drama and trouble between you guys. So just be aware of that. Ten of Wands, again, you can't solve everybody's problems. You might be actually be wanting to solve this person's problems right here. Don't. Don't. Really focus on you because you're putting down all your burdens and you're putting down all your hardships when you're really embracing what it is that you want and the way that you want to move forward. This is seeing kind of, yeah, it's, it's like being able to sigh. It's like seeing that ending that you want, seeing that security that you desire, seeing that beauty that you want. Because here we have the queen of cups. That's you. Healing beautiful love, guiding you forward. You're rising above chaos. You're embracing love and healing and prosperity. You're holding the holy grail in your hand, whether you believe in it or not, it doesn't matter. It's love and sacrifice and it's understanding. It's the cup that was said to have been used at the Last Supper and the cup that was said to have, you know, gathered the blood of Christ when he was speared in the side, when he was crucified. So it is something tremendous that you're holding before you, okay? And it is your, your safety and your security right here. Again, it doesn't mean that you have to believe in the mythology or the religion, depending on how you see it or say it. It means that you are embracing it within yourself. You're embracing your truth and you're being guided forward by a higher force. That's why you have the angels. That's why you have divinity guiding you right here at the center of everything. Really trust that inner voice because it's going to serve you well and it's actually going to be what hones out this person. All right? And then as you move forward, you rise above the chaos. Emotions are going to be running high, yes, but you're not going to let your emotions pull you down or other people's emotions pull you down. You're really focusing on where it is that you want to be and what it is that you love and want within your life. This could also be other water sign energy, you know, another Scorpio, another a Pisces, a Cancer. But this is really you here. And I do see this Leo as being a very integral part of the month of June for you as you move forward in love. 
take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith because there's something here where you might be afraid that you're going to get hurt again or, you know, somebody's words are going against what your soul says. And now you take that leap of faith and you're jumping over the chaos. That's why you're standing there. You're sitting there as that queen, embracing what it is that you want. Now, this isn't ignoring, you know, people's advice if somebody is being harmful or hurtful to hurt you, okay? If you're in an abusive relationship, don't sit there and say, okay, I can change this person. You know, the, these people just have it out for me. No, that's not it at all, okay? Know that you're not alone and that you're being guided forward, okay? And then you have the two of pentacles. This is finding balance and understanding. This is having your feet firmly planted on the ground. Somebody's going to be trying to take advantage that you aren't quite as steady yet. Don't let them keep on leaping forward. Keep on going after what it is that you want. You're getting a new season. You're, you're changing. Something about you, Scorpio, is changing. Something about love and your connection with somebody. There's, there's a tightness. There's just like you two being intertwined, okay? Here with the fox. Now, so again, fox made for life. You're having that connection. You're finding that stability. You're moving forward in it. Okay? Don't let chaos of emotions, don't let people play off chaos of emotions here as you move forward. You're finding this balance between the two of you. Okay? And it might be the person that you meet. You might sit there, and it's funny, because some of you might not actually feel attracted to this person at all. You might think like, wow, no, not you. But the more you get to know them, the more you understand them, the more you find that they're not like somebody. They might remind you of somebody that you used to know, actually, that you didn't like at all. And then you find this balance. You find this, the fact that you two kind of, you fit. You're going to be more comfortable kind of being behind the scenes. Because, again, kings are the actors on the stage. Queens, behind the scenes. They're the directors. Okay? So you're going to be more comfortable behind the scenes. Taking everything in. It's going to really, for June and whomever you are with, it's going to be the little things that matter. It's going to be the way they, they follow through on things. That's going to be really big. It's not the big grand gestures. It's not making a good performance. It's, it's fitting everything together. Okay? Yeah, it's the little things. Your subconscious message, king of pentacles. I love it. Stability, security. A king, this is, <laughs> it's so funny because I just said it's not going to be the grand gestures. This is going to be somebody that you really take note of. This is going to be somebody that you see as the actor on the stage. And that's why I'm going to, that's why I said before, this is going to be somebody that kind of goes against what it is that you're looking for at times and kind of really annoys you. Give them a chance. Don't judge them so quickly. Okay? You're finding that balance. Wisdom is blessing you. Okay? But this is prosperity. This is being prosperous within the relationship. Okay? But there's something grounding that you want. Okay? Something where you're feeling grounded, where you feel stable and secure with this person. This person is going to try and use chaos of emotions to knock everything over. Okay? Don't. Strength and balance, strength and justice will guide you towards the stability and the prosperity that you want. All right, Scorpio. It was an absolute pleasure reading for you. If you've made it all the way to the end, bravo. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Thank you for giving this reading a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I'll be reading for you all really, really soon. It's an absolute pleasure. Bye, guys.